Sexy, hard-boiled, good girl art, Hank Jansen, Gold Star, vintage paperbacks. Hi, I'm Gary Lovisi. We're going to take a look at those books now. It's uh, the Gold Star series uh, of 17 books, and uh, they're a really cool series. They have great good girl art, uh, kind of sleazy, kind of cool, uh, hard-boiled noir. Uh, they're from Gold Star Books. There are uh, 17 books in the series, and they're numbered. And um, they were uh, written by Hank Jansen. Uh, Hank Jansen. Actually, uh, they were uh, a later series that was written by, uh, credited to G. Gold and D. Warburton. I don't know who those two people are. Gold Star did uh, uh, a lot of books. Uh, they... Uh, uh, in a previous episode, we, we uh, mentioned the, uh, the uh, Barton Warper Tarzan uh, series of books that they did. And uh, here they did the same kind of thing with, with uh, Hank Jansen. Hank Jansen originally was uh, written by Stephen Francis, created by him in the 1940s in, uh, in England. And he was a hard-boiled private eye crime guy. And uh, a lot of the books were published, uh, written by him, and then later on written by other people. And they're very, very popular, and a lot of them had uh, Reginald Heed, great, good girl art, sexy, uh, uh, sleazy cover art. And uh, those series continued over many, um, many years under many publishers. And then uh, finally, in 19, 1963 to 1965, Gold Star Books published their series. So we're going to take a look at them now. Um, they had some... Uh, Really good art. Uh, McGuire, Robert McGuire, did some covers for the series. I'm not sure who did the other covers. Uh, there was one interesting thing about them that I found out that uh, Gold Star books were published in Derby, Connecticut. Uh, Derby, Connecticut is not exactly a center of publishing in the United States, but there was one other significant vintage publisher that uh, operated out of there, and that was um, Monarch Books, uh, Charles N. Heckelman's outfit. Uh, so the interesting thing about Derby, Connecticut is that uh, both Monarch Books and Gold Star Books had their offices in the same building, the Capitol uh, Building or the Capitol, uh, Capitol um, International Building in Derby, Connecticut. So their offices were in the same building. There was some connection between these two publishers, but I haven't determined exactly yet what that is. But be that as it may, that's not, be that as it may, that's not what's so important now. Let's get to Hank Jansen, hard-boiled, sexy, good girl art covers and this series of books that are really cool. 17 in the series. They're a uniform uh, 128 about pages, so they're kind of thin books, and uh, they sold for 40 cents. And uh, the first one in the series, they're all numbered, is Kill Her With Passion. Put that out there. It's number one in the series. Number two in the series is Lover. The trade was unfair. Hank Jansen had paid 500000 for a movie star, but received a mutilated corpse instead. Number three is Brazen Seductress. They were all gorgeous hellraisers, but they took up a hell of a lot of Hank Jansen's time. This is number three in the series, and it uh, has a McGuire cover. Just a little bit about Hank Jansen. Um, about the Hank Jansen series, they say Hank Jansen is about 37, six feet, three inches tall, weighs about 200 pounds, has close cropped light brown hair, hard gray blue eyes with rather heavy brows, a craggy nose, thickish ears, prominent square jaw, and fairly full mouth with sound, if rather uneven teeth. Face is clean shaven, scarred in several places. He is very broad and muscular at chest level, still reasonably slim at the waist. He likes most beautiful women, scotch whiskey, American cigarettes, good food and wine, and fast driving in that order. Dislikes both hypocrisy, pimps, and other exploiters of women, moral cowardice, racial prejudice, crooked cops, the order depending on the circumstances. He wears mainly lightweight suits, preferably London tailored, colorful shirts and ties, rubber-soled shoes, and is traditionally pictured and clad in raincoat and fedora with turned down brim. He is, of course, single and lived during the heyday of the Chicago Adventures in a centrally placed bachelor apartment. 
his most recent stories, he has concentrated on his adventures as a freelancer. So here's number three in the series, Brazen Seductress. And um, you can see the in, the in the teaser page, they give you a little bit about the story. Here they tell you about Hank Jansen. This is what I just read, and that's in all the books. And they, uh, the title page, Gold Star Book, Derby, Connecticut, the copyright page. And they're by G. Gold. They're all credited by G. Gold and D. Warburton. I'm not sure who that is. Uh, so I'm not going to speculate. Uh, the back covers are all kind of nice, similar. Again, they tell you what's uh, what's in the uh, about the book, and they tell you to show you the cover of the next book in the series. So that's the third book in the series, Berries and Seductress. That is by Robert McGuire. Number four is a nice way to die. The books aren't signed. Uh, the artist um, didn't didn't sign them. There's no signatures, but we can tell from some of them that it is definitely McGuire on some of the books, and some of them um, it may possibly be uh, McGuire. Um, number five in the series is "It's Bedtime, Baby." Number six in the series is Hell's Angels, one of the most popular covers, and it's a McGuire cover. Fans of Robert McGuire will recognize this woman and recognize the stripes that he used in, and the shadowing that he used in a lot of his covers. Number seven is, is Hot House. Number eight is a little bit different. Uh, Passionate Playmates is a sideways cover, so that's pretty cool, the way that they did that. There's a whole uh, uh, kind of genre of sideways covers like this. Um, the late Dan Roberts did an article in my magazine, Paperback Parade, on these uh, sideways covers. And they're pretty cool, pretty interesting. There's, there's a lot of them. And they're really nice. And so that's that's number eight. Number nine. This, by the way, this number eight may be McGuire. We're not sure though. Um, maybe by McGuire. Number nine. Her weapon is passion. It's a good weapon to have. Number ten. Is cold dead. Co-ed. And again, on the back covers, you see, similar like I showed you earlier, the same uh, style and design with the uh, information about the books, and then the, usually the book in the next, next book in the series. So this back covers are very uh, uniform. Number 11 is Fanny. Number 12 is probably, uh, most certainly, a McGuire cover art. Expectant Nymph. McGuire did uh, covers for, uh, for Monarch books uh, that were you know, located also in Derby, Connecticut, also in the same building as, uh, as Gold Star books. So um, it's uh, entirely possible that uh, that's another connection between these two publishers, that a lot of the artists for Monarch did covers in this series, including Robert McGuire. Number 13 is The Exotic Seductress. Number 14 is uh, kind of a favorite. I don't know who did this. This is definitely not McGuire, but it's very nice. It's The Sexy Vixen. And then on this one, they uh, changed their their design on the back, reusing, reusing the cover art, because it was just so cool. Um, number 15 is The Affairs of Paula, and 
uh, the back cover. Shows a little bit of the cover art. These all sold for 40 cents back in the heydays. Uh, they were from 1963 to 1965. And uh, these are pretty cool books. They were a little tough to find, I think, in those days and even today. Number 16 is uh, a nympho named Sylvia. And uh, cover up the back cover uses some of that cover art. And the last book in the series, just because the sexy nympho asked Hank to locate her uncle, he decided to become her sugar daddy. Hmm. Number 17 is Becky. The last book in the series. And the, uh, the back cover, again, they're using some of the art from the from the cover. So, so there you have it, boys and girls. The uh, American Hank Jansen series of 17 books from Gold Star Books. Uh, cool series. I've not read them. I don't know how good they are as far as hard-boiled gangster crime uh, novels, but uh, the uh, original Hank Jansen's were pretty good. Um, it's interesting that uh, uh, a fellow that I know, uh, jazz guitarist John Myall, uh, when he was young, a young guy playing guitar in London in the early 60s, told me that uh, he used to read the Hank Jansen books, the original ones, and he liked them quite a bit. That's pretty cool. And uh, anyway, I just uh, wanted to share this series with you. We're going to do uh, something on the earlier Hank Jansons in the future. Um, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and a like, and uh, subscribe to the channel to get more stuff. Uh, I want to thank everybody who has subscribed. Uh, a lot of people have, and that's really cool, and I appreciate it. And I'm um, trying to bring you uh, a, a good variety of uh, cool, collectible stuff uh, in the vintage paperback, in the pulp, and uh, in different areas like this. So I uh, hope you enjoy it. Thanks for looking, and I'll see you next time.